Today I'm gonna to show you how to design your own sneaker slash trainer slash whatever the fuck you wanna call it. Now, obviously I'm using a Yeezy as the sample because clicks, that'll probably generate more. Basically, what you need to do with this kind of process is you need to start with a trainer that is as light as possible. There's ways around it, but it makes your life a hell of a lot easier if you do. So, you've got these. You wanna turn it into something like this, or this, or this, or even this. It starts as a bit of a clown shoe, but you see where we're going as we move through. So you start with something like this. You desaturate it to start with. You don't want any color in the shoe. Now, obviously, some bits are darker and lighter than others. This is where the lighter the shoe, the better. You still want to preserve, because if you zoom in, you still want to preserve the kind of detail that sits in there, but you don't want too much darkness because you want to add color and it's harder to add color to dark areas than light areas. Once you've got that, you essentially want to cut the shoe out. Now, the way I do this, and if I select here, you can see the selection that I've made is with the trusty old pen tool. So you make sure the layer is selected, you make sure it says path up here rather than shape, and then you just zoom in, click, drag, click drag sometimes you can hold you can hold all to just do that basically obviously i've already cut this out so i can't be asked right now but once you've gone all the way around the shoe right click make selection feather radius keep that to zero and then you click this little button down here which does the mask now obviously that's not right this is the one i made earlier because you know time so you go down here and select solid color now the color you select doesn't matter i just go for bright different colors basically i'm trying to create a clown shoe to start with because it's easier to differentiate between the panels so you've got that there you select the white area here and then you put the black paint bucket tool on to essentially mask the whole thing so now you can't see that red and then up here where it says normal you want to go down to linear burn now this is the effect that applies the color without affecting or deteriorating the texture behind it which is what you want so for example if i select again this area here go onto the paintbrush tool you can invert black and white by just tapping x and then you can see when i paint it in it kind of right retains the uh, the detail behind behind the red so I'll paint that all back in. And for this, what I will want, again, I'll change back to the white, is the pen tool. Again, make sure the path is selected up the top. And then what you wanna do is zoom in and you want to use the pen tool to mask off this area. So this is gonna be the outsole. Give me two seconds. It's worth taking the time to make sure this is right. Spend all the time on the template and then the colors are really easy to change afterwards. I can create loads of different varieties of sneaker, which is wunderbar. You can see what I've done is I've followed the path around and down, but then when I've come off the bottom of the shoe, I haven't worried about tightening it up. You can do that later. So you've got that closed off right click fill path again make sure it's on white rather than black in the bottom corner foreground color keep favorites to zero 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 okay enter bosh now as you can see i've filled in the outsole but there is still red on the background and you don't want that so hold command click on the mask of the actual shoe which will select the shoe and then i just click up here right click select inverse then highlight that again get the black brush out and just paint it away and there we go that's the outsole done pretty much you just follow that process um throughout so i'll, I'll, I'll do the midsole as well because you know why not so again what you want to do again don't worry about anything outside of the area that you're trying to select for the outsole i only need to worry about that top edge the rest of it i can just go boom 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 doesn't matter doesn't matter at all fill path again again i haven't got linear burn selected and when you do that it brings the texture through the color again select that select inverse x paint that out and then you want to do the same now because as you can see it's overlapping the outsole exactly the same on that 
I've already got black selected, paint that out. Bosh, jobs are good. And there you go. So all you need to do is repeat that same process. I'll show you a few examples of ones I've done before. If you get it right in the template, then you can just bang out colorways and it's really quick to just, you know, say on this one, for example, I just wanna, I wanna change the color of the swoosh. I'll just double click on that and I can just select a new color. And it, again, it, it retains all its quality, it all still looks good. So that was how I design my own sneakers. Thank you very much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new and you want to see more like this. All my links are down below to the socials. I want to try and start uploading more this year. I know I keep saying that, but it's going to happen. Thanks again. Have a good one. Ta-da.